What is happening, guys? It's Friday, and we are at the Hack and Pack Shop. Today is D-Day for the buggy. we got to get her all buttoned up today. Yesterday's video, I was discussing the, uh, the range switch up here for the throttle. Well, what I did is I actually bought, like, a volume control for it. Um, I forget what the real name. It's something P-E-T-O-N-T something switch. A couple of you guys recommended it. Maybe one of the packages are here. Uh, yeah. A pitonometer, or whatever the hell you call that. Yeah. Well, inside of here, there was actually one of those in here. Okay? And, well, it, it wasn't working. So, now, we're going to see if this son of a bitch works. So, give me a couple minutes here, and we're going to go for a little ride. Alright, do or die, right? God, I really didn't want to sell this damn thing. Alright, ignition on. Bam. Bam. She's in reverse. Ooh, look at that. Nice and smooth. And I don't really know my range yet on this. I've got this thing hooked up, so we'll see. This uh, this switch that I put in here, it's, it takes a lot to a lot of turning for the thing to go. Alright, seems good. This is a four speed manual, it's gonna be windy guys. these brakes though. Well, this camera freaking looks like it's ready to take a dump. Come <laughs> on. 
top is destroyed. All right, we are back. Turn signal still on. There we go. Kill the lights. Key off. Kill switch off. Son of a bitch. All right, let's plug her in. Can't believe how freaking messy this place is. He wanted to know what the range was going to be on it, and the only way to really uh, do that is to drive the hell out of it. So we'll see where we're at here. If you guys can read that LED reading or not. It's going to take a couple minutes here for it to uh, get up to its full deal. So we'll pause it for a minute so we're not stuck here reading this. And uh, then we'll show you in a second. All right, you really can't see it because the sun's there. There we go. 40, 41% it's hovering at. It's been about five minutes, so that should be pretty accurate. So it looks like the range on this thing isn't as good as I thought it would be, but this motor is quite large, and it is an older motor, even though I did go through it and clean it all up and things like that. Um, but it is, it is kind of warm, and the controller is kind of warm also. So I'm thinking probably if he's going to want to get more actual range out of it, um, he's definitely going to have to go with a smaller, probably brushless DC motor. Um, but hey, it's functioning. He can drive it. Um, that's pretty much what we're shooting for. I mean, I'm so buried into this thing for time, I just can't keep going on it. But hey, you guys got to go for a little ride. You can see what it can do. Um, and then again, I mean, it is quite hilly around here too, which does not help. All right, this is not flat terrain where we're at. Where he's going to be at right down downtown Manhattan, it is all level. A lot of stop and go traffic, things like that too. So, I mean, you know, for him to buzz around back and forth to work if he's in town, this thing will be perfect. Even though it'll be a little cold this time of year to drive it. But, well, anyway, you guys got to see what she can do. And, um, yeah. I think it was a good little ride. We didn't break down. We didn't die. Nothing like that. So uh, we'll leave it at that. I'm going to go down and get her inspected here in a little while. And this will probably be the last video on this puppy. So I hope you all had a goody goody. Hope you enjoyed seeing this ordeal. <laughs> and uh, just so you know, like I said, I, I just put a new, uh, a new variable switch down here. And that seemed to do the ticket. I don't know what I did with the old switch. Uh, where is it? Right here. This is what I pulled out of it. All right, so it's very, very similar. All right. So thanks for your input on the last video, guys. Y'all have a goody-goody. Talk to you soon. Later.